G'day folks, welcome back to the Fat Bastard Garage. Uh, I've got new finds. Some of them are from M Case and I think some are from N Case. I've got some Majorette, one Matchbox and two Premiums. First up, we'll go with, I went to Toy World and I found the black Audi Quattro. Love it. I've got the Quattros. I think this is an awesome casting. And just, yes, very cool. And the other one I got from there was <clears throat> the Nissan Hardbody or Nissan Ute Extra Cab. We call that an Extra Cab Ute. Um, quite sure 2023 so it's a fairly new one I've got white ones but I didn't have this one and I like it because it's a ute it needs details done but they're cool um, this was from Target uh, these are from like a, a period of time a 68 Dodge Dart I'm not a big American muscle fan, like I'm not into Camaros, Mustangs, the Chargers, old stuff, yes, I like, and this is cool, I like that, that's a good one, I'm not going to crack any of these right now because I'll do them in shorts, because my shorts are doing all right. I don't mean the ones I wear, because they're not doing all right. Not with this fat bastard. BMW, it's a recolor. I like it more in the red than I do in the blue. I think that's nice with the gold wheels. Very cool indeed. What's the next one? It's a recolor of the Studebaker Champ. This is a weighty car too. Jeez, I'm shaking. What's going on with me? That's cool. Hasn't got many details. But I like the recolor on that. That's nice. Very cool. We've got the GT40 Mark IV 67. This is a cool color. I like this. I haven't been able to find any of the GTs, 40s. Like the black one, a blue one. <laughs> uh, there's uh, the new, like, uh, 2019 model came out in the same set, I think. I haven't been able to find any of them. But that's nice. I like it. I'm a bit of a fan of the GT40. This is a bit of an older one that I've found. I've had for a little while. BMW M3. It's got no details. And I don't understand the black bit on the bonnet. It just, I don't know. It doesn't look right to me. And honestly, the colour is meh. I don't go much on that. I mean, I like the car, but the colours, eh. I, 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 nice to see a recolour on that one. Recolour on the Porsche 904. That is nice. That is nice. No details, but lens headlights. That is nice. I like that one. That's really cool. <clears throat> Majorette. I got the R34 Skyline from the Japan series. I think that's pretty bloody cool. Good details. I'd rather pay like 
I think it was four ninety nine, five dollars for that, than a Godzilla one. I don't think it's got any opening parts, but I don't care. That's nice. And is that is that is that a Supra? This is a nice Supra. Again, Japan, uh, Japan series. I think it's a different version of the different series compared to the other one. You can't see under the bonnet real well, but it has got some details in there. Gorgeous colour. They did come out in this colour. Wheels might be a little bit too big as the wheels on the now 34. I think they're a little bit too big. That's nice. Good details. Roll cage in the back. That's cool. Then. World Tour. Is it the World Tour? Court Car Culture? World Tour? Volkswagen Brasilia. Love it. Love it. Wish we got them here. Brazil did some awesome bloody cars. They did this. They did the SP20, oh, I think it is. That is gorgeous. Love that. And, of course, had to get the Golf Mark 7. That is just awesome. Love it. Now, it was funny... I struggled to find this one, and when I went to Toy World, where I got the first couple of cars, six boxes have been put out of these. There were these were sitting everywhere. I mean everywhere. These were sitting everywhere. The the uh, Alfa Romeo was sitting everywhere. I didn't get the Alfa Romeo because. I've already got it. Like, you know, it's in the mainland, I know, but yeah, I just, yeah, wasn't that interested. <clears throat> the Audi S4, mm, I didn't quite have enough money. Do you think that there was one uh, Supra there? Six boxes, no Supras whatsoever. And it was the same with the. Boulevards, they had the 3000 GT, they had the Lambo, oh, I can't remember what the other, but there was no, nothing else. Someone had come in there, they'd only put them out like, you know, that morning. I got there at about 12 o'clock and everything was gone. All the good ones were gone. So I'm going to come in and bought the whole lot. And I, yeah, I sort of said something when I went up and paid for these. I went, right, man, you know. Did you let someone buy everything? And they did. And I said that was a bit sad. But anyway, there are my latest finds. I think I've got a couple more here somewhere too. But I can't find them at the moment because the place is a mess. I'm trying to do the shelves down there. I've made it into one shelf. has got like tools, like drill. Uh, Dremel, paints, pens, you know, screwdrivers, rah, 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 all in containers. Um, and that's as far as I got. So, anyway. And I've shifted. I shifted. I don't know whether you can see it, but I shifted this here, was down there. And I shifted there, my Mini GTs and my Elite 64s and M2s and stuff like that are on there now. But, well, we're slowly getting it back together. Anyway, that's it for now. These were cool. I like them all. I'm going to crack all of them open. Um, I need to just keep cracking cars because I've just run out of hanging space. And I've got plenty of uh, jammers, so, yeah. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Hooroo!